Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Keepers, this will be part 11 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we died. <laughs> we, we got murdered as the Enchantress, but that did let us get some actual uh, abilities, which we haven't played around with yet, or some talents rather. Um, so now we have... Monster and Master Attacks which apply damage over time effects have a 30% chance to apply an additional stack, pretty good. Uh, Frozen Rose applies Frostbite, which is good for when it comes to the final battle. Damage dealt by monsters to heroes affected by Frostbite increased by 20%. So if we focus like Ice, we can get a bunch of extra damage out of that, which sounds pretty good. So you know what? We're going to take these veterans. Um, I don't know how much longer I'll be playing this. I said in the last episode, but like... Aside from talents, aside from... They did release an update where they added like mini bosses... Um, aside from that, there's really not that much going at the moment. Sort of, when they release a couple more updates, I'll probably come back and have a look at it. But it's a fun game, just not not for recording. Like, I'll still play it. I'll play it a ton. It's a good sort of idly game where you can just jump in. If you're doing something, like if you're lucky enough to have two monitors and you're doing something in the other window, you can just sort of like do that, do this, do that, do this. And if you just want to chill time, but... Yeah, I think we've more or less seen a lot of what the game has to offer right now. Uh, anyway, sorry, I should get into it. Uh, damage dealt to monsters affected by enraged increased by 30%. That's fine. Dodges the effects of the first trap. That's annoying. Damage and morale taken by traps reduced by 50%. Okay, so all these passives are actually kind of useless. Hers is always bad. Uh, and the dodges the effect of the first trap is very annoying. But aside from that, I'm not super worried. So fire and air at the back... Ugh, the air 50% feels bad. There's no good way to do that. I guess you're going to be at the back. Which means we're going to do some air damage, which is not a good good damage. We want nature. How much health do you have? 120. So if you have air, how much air do you do? 61. So it's going to do like 90. It's going to do 90 air damage. And you're going to do 56 fire, but it's going to be reduced by 20%, which is what, like 10? So it's going to be 40. So 90 and 40 is going to kill you. So there is really no good way of doing this. I think we just throw you at the back. At least you will get to act pretty quick. But he won't get to act till right at the end. So that's, I think, we're just going to sacrifice... Sacrifice the, uh, the Knoll. And that's the best we got. We're definitely going to do the Burpee Frog. Because they all have a nature weakness. It's very strong. Uh, you're going to do air damage to the front. So what I could do here is throw you at the front and then some ice. Oh, no, they love ice. Well, okay, she loves ice. But we could actually... Oh, wait, hang on. And you do air to the back and fire to the back, actually. So you should... Okay, you should definitely not be at the back. Maybe... Okay, maybe we actually do this. Or this? So you're taking the front with? Air. Oh, that might kill him. What's a quarter of 48? It's like 12. It's 12, so another 12 and 48 will be exactly 60. So that's not, a, not good enough. I think maybe we do this then. And then us. Either way, these are veterans, so we sort of knew they were going to get to the final, final, like, encounter. They usually do. Ouch. But, good hits on nature. And he's dead. But again, we knew that would happen. That was 100% a guarantee. What is his actual ability? Oh, I can't see anymore because he's dead, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll spread the damage out a bit. Uh, nature damage to the front and tiredness, or nature damage to the back and nature weakness. No, we'll do tiredness. That'll keep our front boy alive a lot longer. Yeah, see, and I think he's going to die from this. Ooh, the bleeding will probably get him. 
I hope it doesn't, because that would be amazing to get one last little hit out, but I think it will. <gasps> it didn't. Oh, excellent. Okay, yeah, target the front. Because if we can get rid of her before the ice attack... Yeah, if we can get rid of her before... The, our, like, ice team, that would be perfect. Which it looks like we're going to. We're gonna end up classically with the stupid ranger left over again. Or the tracker, sorry. Um, they all have nature weakness, don't they? So maybe enchanted... Oh, but that one does fire. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, more elemental weakness is good. Because we can knock her down with some elemental weakness. Because now she has negative 45 on nature. That's pretty strong. Okay, so actually I'm feeling pretty confident here. Because that'll hit you with Frostbite. He can take advantage of that. That does like nothing. Although that will kill. 100%. But... Uh, we can just... I guess it doesn't matter. Bonk. <clears throat> We'll do that. He's got a fire weakness. Uh, sorry, an ice weakness. Uh, but he has a fire weakness, so he's dead. But then we can just do this. Boom. 100% dead. Excellent. That actually really couldn't have gone much better. Uh, we don't need this. We already have one. So maybe we just do upgrade flamboyant lightning? Because, like, we can do upgrades to our main character, but that only happens if they get to that point. If they get to the end. So if they don't get to the end, it feels like just a massive waste of time. Uh, I guess we can put you back in, can't we? And then I guess we can put you in? That's a nature team. Yeah. It's, like, the best we've got. Um, can we upgrade you, maybe? Yeah, more more life, I think, is what you need right now. We'll do that, too. Uh, an alchemist, maybe? It would be more of a guarantee than the event. I think we will do that, because we'll convert some blood into tears. Like that, and then we just convert... Actually, honestly, maybe we convert just, like, all of it to get 300 bucks for the trainer. Because now we could throw another bit of cash at you, or we could upgrade you again. Wow, the 70 ice damage. That is pretty strong. Like, that's that's pretty good. And then we're going to plunder. Uh, volunteers plus one, 100, find a monster, risk of unavailability. Everyone will be unavailable. It's pretty bad. Ah, oh, that's much better. Yeah, no, 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 do that. Uh, no, everyone's everyone's good. We all just got plus three on our motivation. That means Palatine will be back quickly. Uh, it means that, like, Imhol can stay longer. Yeah, no, that was good. We're going to take veterans. Pretty confident we can take some veterans. Is there going to be another tracker in here? Because they're just always there and it's incredibly annoying. Ooh, not today. Not today. Uh, can't be affected by demoralized. That's fine. Okay, so she's not amazing. You are once again very annoying. And you are going to heal someone and can't be bled. So that's pretty bad. Okay. But nature weakness, do we all have that? Not really, but that'll, that'll create a nature weakness. Uh, which we'll then use here, I suppose. So, back for nature, back for air, which is probably going to be good for you. Uh, actually, it's probably better for you, right? Because you do 46, you do 51, so that's what? Uh, that's an easy one, 90, 97. So you do 97 damage, but you have a weakness to air, so that's going to do another 25. Which is not going to be enough to kill. So that'll give us one hit out of everyone. Now for this one, how do we feel about ice? Well, the one at the front likes ice, the one at the back doesn't mind it. But the alternative is fire, and... 
Maybe we sandwich a fire in between two ice boys? Because the front takes air damage, and the back takes fire and nature. No, sorry, air and nature, right. So we've got someone that's got air and nature... ...things? Wow, we could just bring you. How do you feel about air damage? Yeah, they all kind of love it. Uh, in that case, we will put... ...probably you at the back. We can maybe sandwich him in the middle and put you at the front. Alright, you're gonna take... You're gonna take air damage, though. Not enough to kill, though. So that'll be fine. And then we'll have the burpee frog. This is not great, though. This is really not great. Uh, right. Fire on nature. Fire seems to be the better pick. And then... We definitely do this one. Unfortunately, you're not affected by Frostbite. Ouch. Yeah, so it's not enough to kill. Oh, shit. Oh, no, okay, it was just her. I thought she did that to everyone. I was so concerned. Uh, give her a nature weakness. Like, might be okay. Although she's going to heal someone, so in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it matters what this first one's going to do. Okay, yeah, he's definitely dead. She should be fine-ish. He's dead. Okay, so she's going to get healed, but we did pretty decent damage to the second row, which is always handy. I think Flamboyant Lightning or Magical Brambles might be the way to go. Although, they all have, like, Nature Weakness-ish. Ugh, not really. Actually, we'll do Magical Brambles, so we create a Nature Weakness. Or any weakness, because we need to drop all their Ice Resistance. Uh, Hypothermia? Or do we just hit the front one with Frostbite? It's probably good, because we can super focus her with Frostbite. Because when we do this, it should increase, yeah, Frostbite to 5. Which is very good. Uh, yeah, we'll apply Slowed. We know how useful that is. Because now our entire team will get to go first. Which means we can do some real damage here. So she's dead. 100%. Can throw the ice block. How do you feel about nature? Okay, you don't mind it. Boom, he's gone. He's not going to be able to take another nature hit. But the frozen arm should basically do you in. Boom! Dead. She's, she doesn't even get to taste the burpee frog. Chalice of Youth. Skeletons gain 10% life. It's not bad. Elementals gain plus 5 to all resistances. Or monsters have a 20% chance to start each fight with a random bonus. That sounds pretty good. Random bonus, always good. And that'll probably upgrade to like 50%. So 50-50 chance for a random bonus sounds very strong. Uh, I guess we're going to bring fire back into this back row. Which means we take nature back to the front. Actually, we could put you there too. Oh, we have nature here. And I guess we have air. Here we have fire and some ice. Yeah, that'll be... That'll be grand. Uh, who do we upgrade now, though? Palatine? I do like these skeleton soldiers. They're just generically useful. Like, they are always handy. Company needs some equipment, rent out some traps. That we could probably do. Yeah, because we can rent out these ones that we don't really give a shit about. These are the only ones we care about. Sure. Uh, an engineer. Maybe. Ooh, although we are going to rent out some more traps. Okay, we're probably not going to do that. 
because we can't afford oh wow it's a champion wave coming up yeah no we cannot afford that so we will take the engineer here we'll upgrade the burpy frog and then we'll take the event on the next one so take this event by chance you meet a tamer traveling through the region and looking for some work the traveler's office this traveler offers to train one of your employees at half price for one level sure Stronger heroes are coming from far away lands in order to Okay. Do we just take the champion? Yeah, we'll take the champion. She be right. Oh, it's asking me because you're a low one. I think we just have to take it. Like if if he gets killed, if we end up bringing him, he gets killed and he is out for a while, I don't think that's the end of the world to have one. Oh, we have Thorgrim, the Grudge Bearer. It, Thor, Thorgrim, Grudge Bearer of of total, well, not total Warhammer of Warhammer Fantasy fame. Uh, yeah, shockingly, his armor is quite high. Oh, hang on, fifty six air damage applies five vulnerable to himself. From three stacks of vulnerable, the attack deals fifty percent area damage and applies three air weakness. Removes two stacks of vulnerable when he is attacked. Oh. Oh, wow. That's very strange. I like it. I like it a lot, but it's very strange. Uh, it seems like ice is the way to go here. Ice is the only thing that they're relatively weak to. Definitely not physical. Although, you can still put you at the front. How's nature? So even nature's a little high. Air has a bit of a swing. I think we have to bring nature. Because uh, we would hit them all with poison, which is not terrible. So you're going to hit the front with air. That's fine. He can take it. You're going to hit the back with air and back with physical. Which you don't like either of those. So maybe we do actually bring you. Ugh, I don't like that. This is not a good, it's not a good team, but... It'll possibly work. Burpee frog. Always the burpee frog. Okay, now we said ice is basically the best we got here. So... Oh, you're back. Nice. Because uh, fire's bad as well. Well, it's bad for the front row, but the rest is okay. So maybe we want to put you at the back? Was it air and physical? Yeah, okay. Let's put you there... Maybe put you at the front? Although you take air as well, which you don't like. Oh, he loves air. Okay, we'll do this. And then there's us. I mean, this is 100% gonna come to the end. It's a champion. If we manage to kill the champion without them getting to our boss, that would be very impressive. Like, that would be insanely impressive. That would be impossible. Boom. Yeah, so that does nothing. So we're definitely going to do Impalement to try and get the one behind more. And then, yeah, we'll just do this. So I guess we want to try and keep his stacks of Vulnerable low? Is, like, my initial thought? Because then he can't use it to take extra damage or whatever? To do extra damage? Yeah, I don't quite understand. I'll be honest. Uh, this will probably be the end of this wave. Ooh, not yet. Pretty soon, though. Wow, we've done, like, nothing. Oh, my God. Considering this is a boss wave, like, this is so bad. Oh, my God. I didn't realize till just then just how little we've done. Like a nature weakness? What was our next battle? No, it's all ice. Although, actually, a nature weakness, the things here are probably going to be nature based, right? Yes, yeah, so we can do that. But we're going to do pollen cloud. Oh, just before the burpee frog. Perfect. Yes. Okay. I'm feeling a little more confident now. 
We're still definitely going to get hit. Ow. Ugh, that was almost bad. Yeah, so do that. And then hit all of them with slow. Again, that way we can get all of our guys first. Oh, except for her. So you're still going to die. Which is not great. Which is really not great, actually. It would have been nice to get all of my guys a turn, but... Seems like that's not on the cards. We are really crushing their team, though. Ouch. I'm gonna go for the stun. I think we have to. Ah, didn't get it. It never gets it. Like, we never get that stun. It's so disappointing. Ow. That's fine, though. It's not gonna be the end. Boom. Boss is dead. That's what matters. Like, that was the problem. Then you're dead. Good. Wow, we may actually beat this without going to the final battle. I think we will. Yeah. Boom! Whew, beat a champion without going to the finale. That feels pretty good. Yeah, see, that's the Bewitch Glove is very good. I don't think the Orc Sorcerer or the Skeleton Lord are going to be worth that much. Although, Plies burn to everyone. You know what? We're actually going to take the Orc Sorcerer. We haven't used him before, so I'm kind of into it. Okay, so you need to go out. You need to go out. I guess we're going to put you in the front. You need to go out. Well, we have a lot of people out. Oh, but you can come back in. Okay, so that... Never mind. That works out kind of well. Uh, collectors? We can't afford it. We can afford the blood. So we'll pay them the blood. Uh... We won't take the alchemist. We'll just take an event. Stock take? Sure. I guess. Works out. Uh, additional budget. The lab assistant brought some brand new equipment without asking for permission. On top of that, he's now asking for further funds that were not planned in the initial budget. You know what? If I don't pay it, something bad is probably going to happen. So, we will definitely take it. Um, I'll take the adventurers, I think. I'm just hoping I can, like, mangle them pretty quick in the early game. So that way I don't have to worry about low motivation. Okay, so you're going to move everyone around. Great. You dodge the effects of the first trap. Great. Okay, so put you here. So fire's actually kind of bad. So if we put you at, like, the back, and then we... Uh, do what? What what else is bad? Nature? Nature's kind of okay. Oh, you can do fire as well. No, we'll do that. Boom. That's fine. Uh, what else we got here? Poison cloud, the burpee frog. That works out just fine. And then we will do what here? What's our, what's our team comp looking like? Uh, blah, that's a good question. They should have relatively low armor as well. Well, nature seems pretty low. Air is pretty low. Fire is very low. So I'm guessing we're going to go fire. So you're going to hit the front with air. You're going to hit everyone with ice. So front with air. We'll put you at the front. Uh, you're going to hit the back with physical, which means we probably want to put you at the back. Since you've just got more health. Although you actually... Okay, no, we'll put you at the back. So front with air. So we'll put you at the front. We'll put you there. Boom. And then us. Okay, so hopefully they're going to come through this thing with elemental weakness. Which would be amazing. Uh, we don't have that much nature in that first one. So I think we're going to do slowed. Applying slow straight away and making sure that they don't get the first action is a pretty good move. Well, the other one still might. Like, she still might. Oh, okay. That was pretty bad. Having the skeleton soldier at the back is not amazing. 
boom, boom, boom. Very good. And we'll burn everyone. Because you know what? That's actually a pretty potent move. Although you're about to slow everyone down as well, so it's going to reshuffle everything. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ow. Oh, that was bad. I sort of wanted him alive. Still, we've got him in a good position here. We are really mangling them. Like, getting through this first battle for them is going to be brutal. Yeah, I don't think you can get another move here, Palatine. Ooh, you did, though. You definitely did. Okay, do that. That drops you so low that a stiff breeze would knock you down. Which is what I'll give you right here. I can just hit you with magic brambles. I go flamboyant lightning, actually. Yeah, actually, we'll do that. If I can get you low, they might all get cleaned up by the burpee frog. Which they did. Oh, no, the front one didn't. She will now, though. Uh, yeah, we're sitting with infection. Boom. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. Uh, we'll take the money. I don't like satyrs. The rallying horn, I think, is fine. But as a trap, I'm not sold on it. Like, it's a good idea, but... I just think there's better options for traps. Like, damage is just kind of a better choice. Than just enraging your monsters. At least from what I've found. Um, we'll take an event. Hopefully this is... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wait, we sold it. Shit. Oops, I thought I was buying it. Oh, it, it doesn't really matter. No, oh, there we go. We, we got it back at level one. So you know what? I'm actually kind of into that. We just made like 300 bucks. Uh, I don't want to do that. Pre morale review, maybe. We do have money to burn. Yeah. For 150 bucks, that's pretty good. And basically everyone is ready to go back into battle. We have Yara, actually, there in the back lines. Yeah, we'll send someone for an intensive training course. Why not? Go up two levels. You're off for eight weeks, which is good, because Giara is just here waiting. Although, we'll take... We'll swap you two out, actually. We have fire and ice in the back row. We have some physical and other things in the front row. I will take veterans. We can take the veterans. We can take the strong boys. What have we got? Okay, uh, applies stunned when attacking, hate it, uh, applies broken armor when attacking, fucking hate it, and you're gonna randomly move everyone, definitely hate it. Okay, curse prism, to what, what damage are we looking at? Probably nature, or armor, could do either. We could just go physical, we could just get physical, physical. Although fire will work really well, so I definitely know what we're doing in the second... Oh, wait, hang on, you're going to shuffle. Never mind, so we'll put, go boom, boom, and then... Uh, all I have left is nature and thing. I guess we do... That does nature damage, doesn't actually help. Wow, plus 10 to all resistances per hero affected by burn and per hero affected by frostbite. So if we just had like a knoll in the front and someone that did burn and someone that did frostbite to the entire squad, he would get plus 60 on all of his resistances. Meaning he would be immune to physical attacks. Oh my god. That's actually kind of scary. We'll, we'll take the Orc Sorcerer. He's pretty good. Uh, you know what we're going to use? The old Burpee Frog. Burpee Frog. Okay, so you're going to get hit by air damage. Where was at the front? Which I guess is going to be you. And then back's going to get hit by air and ice. So that's going to have to be you. And you. Yeah? Although you're very good. We might actually have to not take her, take him, and just go... What did I say? Air and ice. So maybe even you. And we can use this to slow everyone down as well. So I think that might be a better call. Rather than having the all-fire team, it's just not quite as not quite as potent. 
Okay, shuffle me around. What do you got? Ah, oh, they put the Orc Sorcerer at the front again. That's so bad. Because I'm pretty sure he's not going to survive. Yep. Ah, shit. That's... That is the worst way this could have gone. Wow, they completely locked into this one. I'm so pissed. Oh, I'm so pissed. They could not have done that better. We're going to take giga damage off this one. Ugh, I hate it. Like, again, I, I can't believe they managed to get the best option. There's only one place where the Orc Sorcerer would be bad. Actually, no, I guess that's not true. He has to be in the middle, because if he gets shot by you, he's also going to die. Yeah, okay, no. That's a bit better. Honestly, maybe Flamboyant Lightning. Although, giving them all Nature Weakness probably a good idea, because they're just going to get shredded by the Burpee Frog. And whatever I throw at them here, like a Pollen Cloud. Negative 70... Ne negative 95 was that on the front. Ooh. Ouch. Big ouch. Oh, the combo of elemental weakness and nature weakness. It's just so good. Oh, okay, I'm going to be competing with you. They're going to slow me down, I'm going to slow them down. Yeah, wow, I'm so annoyed. They perfected this. They got purely lucky. I mean, even if I slow them down, that doesn't really help in the final battle, because they're still going to be 3v1 on me. I guess I will anyway, just so they don't get a first hit in. Like, maybe I can kill someone. Although they are badly poisoned as well, though. So maybe it'll be okay. Oh yeah, never mind. It'll be fine. Again, they're slowed, so they're going to just die. I'm going to get first attack. They're going to die. So I'll hit... I mean, I'll hit you with that. The one at the back is 100% going to die from the nature damage, which just leaves me with the Imaharm. Imajaharm. And we'll Frozen Rose you. Boom. Moided. Moided. Ah, I don't want either of these. Another Flame Eater might not be too bad, I guess, but... We definitely don't need a third Succubus. Like, I know they're good for morale, but they're not that good for morale. Winning is also good for morale. Okay, so we have a maxed out Palatine. Oh, sorry, maxed out Skeleton Soldier, which is pretty strong. Uh, I'm going to actually upgrade you. Transforms the group of monsters into random skeletons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll be fun. And do we just upgrade Sherman? Yeah, why not? All right. Well, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.